if you have forms for payment processors or for inquiries within your site, you should have some sort of a CAPTCHA system. And Google makes it really easy with their reCAPTCHA system. They make it very easy to set up and you also don't have to put a credit card in, so you don't have to worry about going over rate limits or anything like that. They make it very easy, and today I'm going to show you how to set it up with Next.js. So to get started, I just created this little form here. This is just right on the home page in a new Next.js 13 project using the app directory. And I'll show you what this form looks like. So it looks like this. So just inquiries, are you a robot, and first name, last name, email. And right in here, we're going to put the recapture checkbox that you've probably seen on hundreds of sites already and for good reason because it's very popular and very secure. So let's get started with building that. So you might want to pause the video and copy this form if you want. I'm using all Tailwind classes. There's not, nothing in my global CLS, CSS apart from just the Tailwind imports. So the first thing that we should do is we, we're going to have to install some packages to get started. So. The first package we're going to install is this React Google reCAPTCHA package. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm just going to close my development server and install this. Perfect. So we have that. And if you're using TypeScript, you're going to want to import this package as well. So I'll leave the links to all these packages in the description below. Okay, perfect. So now we have everything we need within our node modules. What we need to do next is we need to get a client and server side key to interact with reCAPTCHA. So I'm just going to go to Google here and you can just go to google.com slash reCAPTCHA. Again, I'll link to this in the description down below. And we're just going to go to the version 3 admin console. And here I'm just going to call this tutorial. And we're going to use version 2 for this tutorial because that gives you the checkbox that you can click and it's a lot easy, easier at least, to verify on the client as opposed to the server. If you're doing payment processors, please verify your requests on the server and client side. That's very important for security because malicious actors can get through. However, for what, especially what I'm normally doing, I'm just doing inquiry forms and simple things like that, so it really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to do version 2 and, whoops, I don't know why that opened. I'm just going to do the invisible recapture, or the I'm not a robot checkbox, I should say. And then in here, for domains, if you have a site already live that you're adding this to, add it here. But I'm just going to do localhost because I'm just doing this all locally. And I'll submit that. Perfect. So now you can see we have a server and client side key. I'm going to copy the and code your servers and between your site and recapture. Yeah, okay. So the first ones are client side key. So I'm just going to do dot environment dot local so we don't push it to a GitHub repository. And what I'm going to call this, as is the next convention with the newest version of Next.js. I'm going to call it next public so that the client can see it and then I'm going to call it recapture site key and that will be equal to the first one that we have as well as I'm going to do recapture secret key and I'm going to grab the server side key put that in here perfect so that's all we need now to get started so if I now go back to our page.tsx file. Right here, I said this is where we're going to put our recapture stuff. I'm going to clear that out and I'm going to create a recapture object right from that package. And you should import that. And then all we need to do is get the site key. So to do that, we need to reference our environment variables. So process.environment if you're in a node environment, and then next underscore public, and then recapture site key, and I'm going to flag it as not nullable, and then close that. And now let's see what happens when we run it. 
actually before I do that I realize I forgot something else in next 13 since we're verifying this on the client we need to actually use client side JavaScript so with that in mind we need to make this a client component I have a whole tutorial series on the difference between Next.js 12 and 13 that you can check out if you're unsure of how server and client components work with Next.js now but in short you need to just add use client right to the top of the file okay perfect so now I'm going to do npm run dev and let's see what we get see if we get any errors I'm going to go back to our server here and hopefully if all goes well we'll see a recapture box loading right here perfect so we have that we can click it okay great so it works first I'm just gonna add a class name of MX auto because I just want to center that and perfect okay so we have it centered now let's go over how we can actually use this if you want to verify something client side and then do something with say your form data so I'm gonna create a use state hook got const capture capture and set capture and then we'll do use state and this will be of since I'm using TypeScript once again string or null and I got to import use state so we have that in perfect and now I'm gonna just add this to our on change method yep so just and now I can just do set capture so this will set the value so if it's null or undefined that means that the capture is not verified if it is verified it will return us a token or a string that then you could send to your server to verify it server side if you're sending requests we're not going to go over that part for now we just want to we're just doing the basics to just get it set up on the client I'll probably make a future tutorial series setting that up with Express or something like that um, but for the ma majority of you I'm assuming you're using something serverless and something that is not too detrimental if you have a few phony requests for example so we have our set capture set up with our on change now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a form submission um, function so constant I'll call it on submit and this will be an arrow function and all we have to do to see if we are verified is well first I'll console log our capture value and then below I'm just gonna do if capture and within here I'm gonna console.log this will all be client side keep that in mind recapture verified so now what we have to do is I'm just gonna add this to the on submit and call on submit and that's gonna pass us a form event so I'm gonna do event equals form event for the parameter of our on submit function and then I'm gonna do event dot prevent default just to stop the page from reloading like it would normally because it would default to a get request so perfect so now if I go back here and it doesn't really matter we don't need anything in the fields if I click submit what you're gonna see in our console ignore that error every time I click submit you're gonna see another undefined however if I click I'm not a robot and then click submit you're gonna see we're gonna get this long string so this is the token that you would send to your server to verify using this recapture secret key that we have here and as you can see here at least for the client side we are verified so that's how you set up recapture version 2 with Next.js if you found this information helpful please subscribe it really helps me out and yeah have a good one